Hi, I'm Penny Fong from Estera Labs. We are a proud PCI SIG member to help develop the PCI uh, specifications across multiple generations. So today, I'm going to be talking about PCI 6.0 specifications across the data center applications. As networking devices move toward 800 gig and the new compute intensive workloads that requires heterogeneous compute architecture, low latency and high bandwidth requirements are very essential in data centers. Here are some of the examples for the common use cases of PCI technologies on data centers. On a rack mount server, the CPU is connected to the endpoint by PCIe. And the riser cards, PCIe riser cards, are designed to expand the number of CAM slots to various endpoints, such as smart NICs, FPGAs, AI processors for this new compute intensive workloads. So NVMe are usually connected to the CPU by multiple connectors through interposable boards, midplanes, backplanes, and cables. So various form factors of NVMe connectors or extender cards are designed with PCIe technology as well. Within the server chassis, the cable extender cards enable out-of-the-box PCIe expansion to JBOF or JBOG with switches. For the compute intensive workloads such as AI and machine learning, it requires high bandwidth and low latency interconnect. And PCIe 6.0 technology is enabling high bandwidth and low latency interconnect with new features. First of all, let's start with how PCIe doubles the bandwidth with PAN4 technology. Compared with NRZ modulation, PAN4 uses two bits of data encoded as four voltage levels instead of just one bit in the same UI. Therefore, PAN4 can operate at the same frequency as NRZ, resulting in the same Nyquist channel loss. Moving from NRZ to PAN4 has its obvious advantage. However, it generates some of the challenges. With a four level encoded, there are three eyes that is generated in the same interval. The reduced eye height and eye width will increase the bit error rate and signal to noise ratio. So FEC or forward error correction has been introduced in some other technologies in order to uh, bring the BERT or bit error rate into an acceptable level. However, the penalty is that it will generate a significant amount of latency in the order of a, a hundred nanosecond. The FEC for PCI 6.0 is lightweight and with a powerful CRC and a fast relay, the overall latency can be reduced to a smaller value. Also, the fleet mode works well at lower speed, and it will provide additional tolerance to the BERT, which will give extra buffer for the data center applications in harsh environments. PCI SIG reworked the TLP layout for a clean and simple processing and it will be adopted in the future platforms. In summary, PCIe 6.0 technology enable high bandwidth and low latency interconnect that is crucial for data-centric applications. Learn more about the PCIe 6.0 specification on the website www.pcisig.com.